there you are. Look, it's my stuff. So this is my memorial, huh? Uh, not even a statue. They think they can just file me away, don't they? I've been sent back for a reason, Bruce, and no one's forgetting me this time around. All used by the Joker. No known alias. It's one hell of a toy box. I'm glad no one's gonna play with it again. This ain't right, Brucey. My stuff's not meant to be gawked at. That gun should be out there sticking up old ladies. That dynamite should be bringing the roof down on a kindergarten. All that senseless misery going to waste. One stuff beer in a canister. Do you know how long it takes to make an explosive set of chattering AKA teeth? Unknown. I hope you enjoyed the joke. I did it all for you. The Arkham City fallout. The guy was messed up anyway. Serious Titan with the draw. My guess, he's off somewhere getting clean. And he's not going to be happy when he comes back. One custom tailored top hat. Worn by Jervis Tetch. A.K.A. the Mad Hatter. The guy's mad, all right. He tried to brainwash Batman in Arkham City. <laughs> he got the Wonderland kicked out of him instead. I hated letting him go. This guy's too creepy to stay free. A selection of body parts belonging to Warren White, A.K.A. the Great White Shark. White got himself sent to Arkham on an insanity plea. He lost a few things other than his mind while there. Made the new look work, though, I gotta say. One freeze ray, used by Mr. Freeze, a.k.a. Victor Freeze. We, uh, had to stop playing with this after the commissioner caught us making ice cream. Freeze has kept quiet since leaving Arkham City. Maybe Batman finally talked some sense into him. One ventriloquist dummy, a.k.a. Scarface. This ain't the original Scarface. It's a Joker knockoff. Don't ask me why, but the clown took a liking to these creepy things. One laughing gas grenade, one snare trap, and one baseball bat. All used by Dr. Harleen Quinzel, a.k.a. Harley Quinn during a recent assault on the Bloodhaven police station. From what we gather, Scarecrow sent Harley to break out Poison Ivy from the lockup in blood. One black mask worn by Black Mask, AKA Roman Sionis. Sionis never really recovered from the night of the Black Gate riots, the night Joker showed up. Roman- Talia. I'm sorry. One ceremonial sword owned by Talia Al Ghul. Miss Al Ghul was a wanted terrorist and an associate of her father, Raish. But Joker got to her before we did. From what I hear, Batman put this blade to good work after she died. One Tommy gun. Used by Peyton Riley, a.k.a. the ventriloquist. Or maybe the gun belongs to the puppet. I never really understood what's going on there. Two ceremonial swords used by Rosh. I mean, Rish al Ghul. We found these at the bottom of Wonder Tower the night of Protocol 10. They were covered in blood. No body, though. One Arkham Asylum branded shock collar, worn by Killer Croc, a.k.a. Waylon Jones. We found this thing in the sewers under Arkham City. And that ain't good, because it was supposed to keep that bastard under control. One rifle and two wrist-mounted guns used by Floyd Lawton, a.k.a. Deadshot. <sighs> Another guy we had to let go after Arkham City got shut down. Still... That doesn't mean he got his toys back.
one pair of shock gloves worn by the electrocutioner, a.k.a. Lester Buczynski. Joker hired this guy on the night of the Black Gate riots, and then he killed him. I heard Batman borrowed the one mask and jacket worn by Anarchy, a.k.a. Lonnie Machen. I wasn't even a cop when this kid tried to hit Gotham. No one's seen him since. No one knows where they're keeping him. I guess the government don't like anarchists too much. A selection of body parts belonging to Warren White. One electric charge gun used by Batman, AKA, we don't like to ask. Batman dropped this here with the rest of the Arkham City evidence. Nice to have some of Batman's gear in the evidence room. Hope he doesn't ask for it back. One electric charge, one pair of, one electric charge gun used by Batman, AKA, we don't like to ask. Batman dropped this here with the rest of the Arkham City evidence. Nice to have some of Batman's gear in the evidence room. Hope he doesn't ask for it back. <laughs> Very subtle. I know this is the evidence room, Bruce, but you could have tried to cover your tracks. I ain't stopping him. Don't look at me. Sometimes I wish I'd taken that transfer to Bloodhaven. You're not attuned to the world the way I am, Batman. Something's coming. I can feel it. Wayne Tech.